Good morning, welcome to another video. Bit of a chilly morning this morning. It's about half 10, quarter to 11 now. And as you can see, I'm down the small river. This is the River Arrow. Been fishing a few stretches on here lately. And uh, I've been invited by Wixford Angling Club, which this stretch belongs to. So I've come down to have a little bit of a go down here. We'll have a few sessions down here. Obviously, tail end of the season now, and perhaps in the summer as well. The next winter we'll come and have a go. And uh, hopefully, we can, uh, we can catch some nice fish. It's a lovely little river, as you can see. There's lots of uh, bits of snags and sort of rapids and slower bits. And as I say, I'm gonna have a wonder about. I've never been down here before, I should mention. I've, uh, I've never set eyes on it before, apart from on Google Earth. I had a quick look after the club got in touch. But yeah, I, I, it looks nice from what I've seen, the sort of 100 meters or so I've walked down. What I'm gonna do, I think, I've got my usual sort of standard approach. You have to be a bit careful what I do because there's another angler here, so I don't want to obviously disturb him. But uh, he's, he's a few hundred metres downstream. I think he might be doing some lure fishing. I'm not sure. But I think what I'm going to do is bait up a few likely looking spots. We've got a bit of a slack over there. That looks okay. This river's in reasonable condition at the moment. From the looks of it, it's, it's sort of, there's a bit of colour, but not too much. We'll just see what we can catch, really. I've got some mash bread, as you've just seen me throwing in there, on my usual mash bread approach. Um, I've also bought some maggots and some worms, really, to uh, perhaps, ooh, blimey, not quite that far, to sort of give us the best chance of catching some fish. Right, without further ado, we've only got a few hours, so without further ado, we'll have a wander down, we'll bait up a few spots, and then, uh, then we'll have a crack, I think. As you can see above us, you can probably see those uh, riffles up there in shallow water. Just looking for the sort of deeper areas, perhaps a bit of cover like we've got here. Just dropping a little bit of mash bread in. That's all. Um, yeah, that guy. Oh, getting a bit closer to this guy that's uh, on the stretch. He's definitely uh, lure fishing. So uh, at least he's not doing the same thing as us. It's, uh, God, it's quite open and windy here. Lightning. Chilly, but yeah, we'll, we'll bait up a few spots. I mean, looking at the stretch, I think it's probably going to be too much for us to do in one go. We'll perhaps have today at it, and then uh, perhaps we'll come back early next week and have another go at perhaps the bottom half of this stretch, and that'll possibly be the way to go. Right, I'll crack on. We've got a pool in front of us here, as you can see. Bit of a pool. There's a bit of cover at the tail end of it. Perhaps go down there in a minute. But I uh, thought we'd have a go in here first. Just throwing a little bit of mash in. We'll have a crack. Just, uh, just actually chatting to the guy who's fishing. Nice Polish chap, very chatty. A chap called Pavel. And he's, uh, he's spinning for whatever comes along, really. Show me pictures of brownies and and chub and stuff and put me onto a few different spots, which to be honest, <laughs> this sort of place really, but it's such a long stretch. It's, <laughs> I think I'm only about halfway down it and I've probably baited about 10 spots, certainly probably more than we can fish today. We'll have a go. It's a little bit clear. That would be my only comments really. You know, these small rivers can be a bit moody when they're clear, but we'll have a go. There's a big sort of slack in the middle of here. There's some depth in there, which is good. Oh, let's get this landing net ready, just in case. Right, fingers crossed. We've got plenty, plenty of swims to go up. There's some lovely looking swims. Well, that sun may not come out because I came out today rather than tomorrow because it's due to be overcast all day. <laughs> and tomorrow is sunny. I think we'll have 10 minutes in here. So I've been walking for probably 15 or 20 minutes and baiting. We'll have 10 minutes in here. I might go for a bit of walk a bit further down. It's one of those <laughs> where the grass is always greener. 
just around the next corner, it also looks better than where you are. <laughs> right, I think we'll have a move. A few taps in there and a, a big clang and then nothing else. So we'll have a wander downstream, I think, and then uh, we'll work our way back. I say it's, grass is always greener. Curious to see what's around every every bend. <laughs> All right, next up. Of a pool here, not pre baited in here. I, I more sort of pre baited the first half of the stretch. I wasn't really intending on coming down this far, but when you're sort of wandering down with a guy who's lure fishing <laughs> and he's pointing out spots to you, you've got to take advantage, haven't you? And a bit of local knowledge. Uh, he said there was a bit of depth in here, and there certainly is. See, there's a, there's a corner further down there as well, which has got some depth to it. And he's caught chub in the past. And it's the sort of place you'd perhaps concentrate, isn't it? With a big pool like this, big water running into it. We'll uh, stuff dropping off the tree. There's a lot of bird poo on the ground here, so I think perhaps birds roost in this tree or something but we'll, we'll perhaps give it 10 minutes and perhaps go for another wander down to that swim further down there I don't I'm, I'm being a bit careful as well because Pavel was here before me so I don't want to sort of tread on his toes at all but he's got to go fairly shortly so um, I think he's he's going to be off soon so then we can uh, we can wander about at our leisure I haven't run you through the gear, have I? I've got my Dower Power Mesh, pounded and quarter test curve rod. GSBR LT 3000 reel, it's a Dower reel, and uh, definitely get some knocks. I'll put all the uh, information on Hook's um, um, main line, etc., down in the description below. I've got, just got my standard adjustable running ledger rig on here. Um, if you want to see how I tie that up, I'll link you into a video up there and in the description as well. If you want to go and have a look at how tight up, it's very adjustable. You can quickly adjust the length between the feeder and the bait, or the lead and the bait, for fishing different swims, it's ideal really. Aye, aye. <gasps> that was a proper pull. That was a proper pull. It was more of a pull than a proper bite though. Well, that's promising. Again, first cast. I think it was first cast anyway. Right, come on, fishes. She's got a medium pressed and plug it feeder on. Give it five more minutes, and then we're going to have a wander down to that next corner. All right? Oh, that was a proper clang as well, wasn't it? I'm expecting these bites to keep going, and they're not. As I was saying, we'll give it five more minutes <laughs> to see if we get another bite, and then we'll we'll go down to that corner and perhaps come back. But uh, perhaps we don't need to.
There we go. What's this? <laughs> it's going crazy. Whatever it is, I hope it's not a brownie. Cool, he's fighting, whatever he is. A scrap. I think it's a chub. I think it's a chub. Oh, blimey. He's pulling. I don't know, he's massive, but he's blimey, he's pulling. It is a chub. Oh, it is a nice one, actually. Oh, he's got a rod in the tree. Well, he's not massive, but he's a nice fish. Cracking. Well, that's about that. Absolutely fantastic. That's wonderful. Right, we will keep him in here. And hopefully he's down there with a few of his uh, his mates. <laughs> he's jagging away at the beginning and my heart sank because it's like, oh no, it's a brownie. <laughs> Fortunately not. Right, that's fab. I'm just dropping it into that, you probably see that line of foam there. That's just where the water's coming in. Water's flowing straight in. We're in a 90 degree bend here and it's flowing straight in and straight across there, which is where obviously it's took out that bank over there. And that's why it's the, the flow has taken out the bottom as well, which is why it's deeper in here. Well, that is a strange one. I've just put maggots on. I've had absolutely nothing. <laughs> Very weird. I'm getting lots of taps and rattles and funny bites. I thought it's probably smaller fish, and if I put maggots on, they'd just smash it to pieces. Nothing. Very strange. Right, I'm going to go back on bread. Right, I think we'll call it there. We've been in there for quite a long time. We have had the odd knock and rattle since this chub and clang on the tip. But uh, yeah, I think we'll have, we'll have a move. We need to be off exploring, not sitting out in one swim. Right, we'll get this fella back. Thank you very much, chap. <laughs> You're a nice fish. <laughs> Ready to go back, as you can see. <laughs> He's going absolutely crazy. Go on, off you go. There he goes. <laughs> right, we shall move on. Oh, blimey. That's gone down and down and down and down. That's good. It's difficult to tell the deeper spots. You can sort of use your watercraft a bit and suss out where you think there might be, but there's other spots like this, which 
It's much deeper than I thought it was going to be. It looks quite chubby over there. Tight to that feeder. Okay, that was a rattle. And again, go on. <gasps> Ooh, that looked quite chubby as well. <laughs> Should have left it. Should have left it. Sit on your hands. <laughs> right, take two. So we'll do a better job this time. huge <laughs> but it's a fish I think it's a chub oh it suddenly woke up a bit <laughs> I'm presuming it's a chub it is a chub oh it's a nice one he's no monster but he's he's a nice fish got him Wonderful. Oh, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. I'm running out of time, but I'm loving it. This is cracking. Well, no monster. An absolutely stunning fish. Even got a bit of lipstick on, look. <laughs> That's cracking. It's got to be worth another five minutes in here, hasn't it? But, wow. Loving this. Absolutely loving it for a, for a first session on a new water. This is wonderful. I've, as I, I think I mentioned, I'm, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I reckon I've got about half an hour left at the most and I've got at least another six swims or eight swims baited. <laughs> so we're certainly not gonna be able to do them today. Bitten off much more than I could chew. I didn't quite realize when I was looking at Google Earth Quite a long stretch it is. It's a proper stretch. Once again, I've just got him in the net down here. I've got this nice deep landing net. Got him in the net, just in case we can uh, we can winkle another one out. It's a lovely little river. I mean, you could probably see here, I mean, I could pretty much jump across it there. And then just below it, you've got a nice deep hole, some cover. Lovely featured stretch. They do have another stretch as well, this club, Wixford. As I say, they asked me, uh, Mark at Wixford asked, got in touch and asked me if I wanted to come down here and have a go. Unfortunately, like I say, it's the end of the season, but... Uh, yeah, I will certainly be back next season. As I say, it's almost too long a stretch to do in one, one go in just a few hours. And I've got sort of usual three hours today, three and a half hours, something like that. Well, I shall go home, happy man. We've had a couple of fish, a couple of beautiful fish as well. All right, there we go again, look. Oh! worth mentioning I've got a size 12 hook on so I haven't got a big hook on purely because I don't know it exclude catching some smaller species if I was just chub fishing then I would probably have a size 6 on but you know I'm having a bit of an explore I'm putting little bits of bread flake on not massive lumps and yeah we're, we're more than likely to catch chub but, you know, as I said, I don't want to put a size six on and then not catch some nice dace or some nice roach or, or such like. So uh, that's why I'm missing a few bites. 
I mean, it may be that they're smaller fish as well. And that might be half the reason, but... Uh, the reasonable bites that we're getting. Just tighten down. Probably do getting the rod tip up a little bit higher in here. The fish in the other side of the flow. But um, I'll try and keep it down a bit because of the wind and it's not rattling through too much. I've only got a 20 gram feeder on and that's holding over there without a problem. There's clearly something else in here that's up for a feed. Nothing else doing that. We'll have a move. Quite slack over there, as you can see. That match is still in the feeder, just dropping out. <laughs> you can see I'm just fishing in just that little back eddy. You probably see from the foam on top. What you probably can't see is that jutting out from this tree here, I presume it's roots right the way along. It's a big long. Well, as I say, it looks like roots or big thick things, possibly branches and having to fish over the top of it which is uh, a bit tricky not quite as straightforward to fish as it looks anyway time to move on let's, uh, let's get this fella back he's been uh, resting up down there one chap back you go gone Right, we are nearly back at the top of the stretch. I have cherry picked the swims a bit on the way back, purely because I haven't had time to do a lot of nice looking swims. I'm getting a little bit short on time. But we've got perhaps another 20 minutes we can fish for. Got a chance to do perhaps another two or three swims if we hurry. <laughs> Definitely a bit off more than I could chew today. <laughs> the uh, length of the stretch and the number of swims I baited. Number of nice looking swims as well. It's loads of little nooks and crannies to drop a bait into right there. And that looks great. Just tuck that in there. Makes that a bit of cover. Just need the full extent of the landing net handle if we hook anything in here. So sort of not knowing this river at all, certainly this stretch at all, and the river not knowing it very well at all. I think I'd rather come with a little bit more colour on. Just a little bit higher. What I'll do is I'll make a note on the local gauge. There's a gauge in Studley, which is just over there. I'm going to make a note of the height and try and come back when it's a little bit higher. It should be a little bit more coloured. I think we'd uh, be getting a lot more bites, I think. Because some of these bits in here, I mean, I can, I can probably see three foot into the water certainly two and a half foot and it's not even sunny you know you can see much deeper into the water with the sun out I think we do a bit better if it was a bit more coloured not like a cup of tea or anything just with a bit of colour oh, yeah, here we go there we go god blimey <laughs> he took off <laughs> you saw that he absolutely launched itself out of the water I think it's a chub though I don't think it's a trout <laughs> it's got a slate grey back I think it's a chub God, a cracking fish god what a scrap god blimey 
everything to go and get in the snags. He, he has managed. Oh, he's come off. Oh, that was a really nice job. It's come off. He's done some snags down here. That was a really nice job. Ah. Oh. Well, I think we've done this swimming. That's so annoying. <sighs> That was a good three pounder, that was, you probably saw it. Oh, it got us into these snags down here. Oh, that's a cracking fish. Oh, well, I think we knackered this swim. So I think we, should, we can probably move on. <laughs> well, that is very, very frustrating. There's a probably see it down here there's a load of an old raft and stuff and there's some spiky hawthorns or something bushes sticking off it and he got us in there and he, he did us and I saw him clear as day a few times and that was a really nice fish really nice fish much bigger than the couple we've caught already but it would be wouldn't it the one that got away going to be bigger well as I say I'm sure we have wrecked this swim completely but I'm going to give it another go anyway <laughs> it's got me done just shows you doing that little bit of cover there's uh there's not that much depth under there it's probably only about three foot or so that is so frustrating. He was right here, right by my feet. Oh, gutting. Oh, I say, I'm absolutely gobsmacked if we get another bite in here. <laughs> not, only, not only have we caught a fish, we've effectively let it go as well. Oh, well, I am definitely coming, coming back to this stretch, hopefully, before the end of the season which is about five days time, five or six anyway. Oh. Well, absolutely no surprise that we've not had another bite in there. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll do one or two swims more before we, uh, before we get off. Oh, got it. Got it. No, that's it. Time's caught up with us, I'm afraid. Got to go. Looks like we're going to have to end on a lost fish, unfortunately, which is a real shame. But, you know, that's fishing. You can't win them all. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. It's been, uh, been a wonderful few hours down here. Absolutely cracking. And what a wonderful little river. Caught a couple of cracking fish, lost an absolute donkey, so that was a shame. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be back, hopefully before the end of the season, fingers crossed, which is only five or six days away. But a big thanks to Mark and to Wixford Angling to invite, for inviting me down to, uh, to fish this stretch. And uh, as I say, I'll definitely be back. If you want uh, any information on how to join us, link it in the description below. But, uh, it's a uh, cracking bit of water they've got another stretch as well of the arrow and yeah I'm definitely going to be back certainly in the summer hopefully before the end of the season but I do want to get down the Avon and uh, perhaps down uh, back down the Stour before the end of the season as well lots to do so little time but for now thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that tight lanes enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and I'll see you again very soon <laughs>